you guys, happy Friday. It's about 7 p.m. You know, sometimes we get started a little bit late in the day. I had a very relaxing morning and uh, I decided to get up and get started with my day around one o'clock. And I don't mean get up like out of bed, I just meant like be productive. And as soon as I'm getting out of the shower, co-parent texts me and he's like, can you pick up the voice for me? And I'm like, thank God I showered. <laughs> so it totally just set my day off. I set my day off on the wrong pace and then everyone else decided to jump on board. You guys are looking at my Chester the Cheetah, aren't you? So if you guys watched last weekend's vlog, you know that uh, Mateo and I have an ongoing joke about his abilities of drawing Chester the Cheetah. The boy is a, an artistic genius and he can do a lot of really cool stuff, especially like abstract portraits. However, the cheetah's not where it's at. And it makes me laugh so much that now he hides these paintings all over the house. Right now we are at five. So <laughs> if you start to see cheetahs in the background, that's gonna be our Easter egg, okay? So anyway, that totally derailed my day. My plan was to shower, go to Ulta, come home, answer all your comments, edit some footage, upload. And I still was able to do most of those things except go to Ulta. And I'm a little annoyed because I just, I just went to Ulta the other day. I ran out of brow gel and conditioner. I'm not a person that runs out of things. You know, I'm like a product hoarder and I usually have like my little safety net of products. What did I drop? Oh yeah, my proud, my proud receipt. $11, I had rewards, and then I had a coupon to redeem my diamond prize or whatever, and I got a concealer. So anyway, I walked out paying 12 bucks. And so I'm a little annoyed that I was there and I didn't look for the new Ulta, no, Urban Decay concealer. Yeah, we just got into this vlog, didn't we? Like there was no soft start, nothing. Anyway, it's Friday at 7 p.m. We don't have much going on this weekend. Uh, actually, I don't know what we have going on this weekend. I am gonna try and get some work done, you know, like regular content work. I'm saying it very loosely because anytime I plan my weekends, God laughs at me. On Sunday for sure, my boys have a birthday party to go to, so I'll be doing that. Yay! Yesterday I went to Ulta. Actually, why don't I just show you guys? I was gonna show you a box that arrived today. I'm, I don't know what's in it. Usually, Martucci's, my friend from The Good Candle, um, hello, you know, my candle that's always in the back, a anywhere. Anywhere there's a candle, it's from The Good Candle. She sent me a package. It's heavy, so I know it's candles, but she didn't tell me to expect it, so I don't know what's in it. Anyway, I went to Ulta because I needed, I ran out of brow gel and I ran out of conditioner and I wanted to use my points. I'm so annoyed that I didn't use, that I didn't look for the Ulta concealer. And I'm like, it's only seven. They close like at 10. I could just like wait a little bit longer and then just like head out the door. It's, there's no kids here right now, you know, and just go pick up my concealer. How long would it take? There's an Ulta like six and a half minutes away. Don't ask me why I know that. So I went to get brow gel and a conditioner. Mission accomplished. I also found this new product. So what's been happening lately with my hair is when I blow dry it, it looks amazing, but a little dry. And because my hair is so fine, I have trouble finding a finishing spray. So if you guys know of a really good finishing shine spray, not a texturizer, not a hairspray. Specifically, it's almost like an aerosol oil. So if you know of a shine spray that is really good for people that are bald, like the amount of comments that I got in last weekend's vlog about how good my hair looks made me feel like a million bucks. But I was like, no, you're, I'm still just, you're looking at me with the eyes of love. However, I still have very fine hair. I still have two and a half baby hairs and I'm still pretty bald. I saw this product that's new from Batiste. You guys know that shine sprays are always pretty expensive because they're from like salon, salon brands, professional salon brands, whatever, you know, whatever. Anyway, Batiste, Batiste is branching out. They went from dry conditioners to dry, from dry shampoos to dry conditioners to hair masks and now they're doing shine spray. So this is called the Shine Mist Touch of Gloss Salon Shine In Between Washes. 
I mean, I'm not going anywhere, so if I'm gonna mess up my hair, now's, now's, now's the time, right? Oh, I'm scared. Oh, that is a fine mist. Does my hair look oily? Don't lie to me. I just sprayed it right here. See the difference? I sprayed it here, I don't have it here. I mean, I can, I can tell the difference, but I'm not sure if it's, if it's the impact I want. And I got the Coconut Crush scent. I'm on the fence, I still don't know if I love it or hate it. This is a product that I can only test out when my hair is, is styled. Like, this is not styled. This is out of the shower animal hair. Okay, then I got the Shape Tape. The ultra creamy so if you guys were fans of shape tape but then you realize oh wait i'm getting older and my under eyes are getting crepey or oh my gosh i realize that i can't set my under eyes with powder like everyone else in this world or oh my goodness everyone loves shape tape except i look stupid okay so if you're on that boat i was probably all three of those reasons then the ultra creamy version came out <sighs> I don't even have to set this with the powder. It is amazing. So it is basically the same amount of heavy duty coverage, except it doesn't leave your face looking like super matty, like matte, mummified, crepey, scrapbooking, old school map antique looking skin. I used my, and this is new, correct me if I'm wrong, but in the previous years, the Diamond Rewards members got the $25 off coupon for salon services. They got the other point conversion, blah, 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 and a birthday gift that was a little bougier than the normal people. And by normal people, I mean the not overspenders. And this year you get a full size uh, dry bar, dry shampoo, shape tape, Clinique foundation, peach and lily body scrubs. So you get to choose, but it's a full freaking full size product, like estimated retail to LE $36 or something like that. So I got that. And then I got two brow gels. I didn't know I was picky with brow gel. I just thought it was clear mascara, you know, no big deal. But it turns out that I am very picky when it comes to brow gel. I'm specific about the size of the brush. I'm specific about the formula. So I went purposely into Ulta to get the brow fixer from Revolution and two reasons. A hunch. The makeup lover hunch in me, like investigator, detective, makeup lover, is telling me that it is going to be a do for the Tartiste brow gel that you can only get at Sephora. That's my favorite, but it's also like $25 for a clear brow gel. I might as well just put goma de gorilla in my hair. It's like Mexican hair gel. This is what the little product looks like. And then look at the baby brush. It's like the same baby brush. I also love that it's clear. When it's a brow gel that it comes in a clear container, you know, maybe I'm gross, but I find it extremely satisfying when a brow gel container is clear because I could see how much is left and also how contaminated it is. I don't share my makeup products, so if it's gross, I'm Josie Grossy, you know? So I'm not super worried, but it does give me a really good um, idea at how gross I am. This is a product that I have in my nightstand, by the way, and I can't show it to you, but if you're at Ulta, get the Makeup Revolution Lip Serum. It is so good. So I felt good about this one because I've been loving Makeup Revolution and it's a drugstore brand, right? When has that ever happened with this one? And then this one, I'm not sure if it's on clearance or if it was on sale, but the Juvia's brow gels were 50% off. I know. So this one does not come in a clear uh, thing, unfortunately. And the wand is just a little bit bigger than the size that I like, but I prefer this over like the mascara wand size because your girl doesn't have brows. We've, we've talked about this before. So all the brow that you see is micro, it's microblading. I have like four hairs on my brows. Everything else is a tattoo. So don't let it fool you guys. So anyway, if the wand is any bigger than this, it's just, it's too, sorry, sorry about that close up. I probably should have warned you guys, like please take off your glasses, fast forward. Don't look directly into the eye of Medusa, you know? I got those two brow gels. I got a replacement for my conditioner, trying out this new product, still on the fence about the scent. And uh, I am really regretful that I, I didn't get the makeup, the Urban, I don't know why I can't remember Urban Decay. Like, 
it's one of my favorite brands and I can't remember the brand name. I really, really, it would make me so happy to try the new Urban Decay Concealer. I love this concept that brands are coming out with right now where it is a big <laughs> concealer tube. For those of us that have realized, maybe I'm not a full coverage person, maybe I'm not an all over the face product kind of person, maybe I'm venturing out into the cream product land of wonder and I want a one stop face product like a concealer. So concealers are historically a little more humectant so they don't look so dry on the skin. Generally speaking, they're a little bit more, oh, <laughs> earthquake. They're a little more full coverage than foundations because the point of concealers is to conceal, you know? Okay, anyway. So this one sounds pretty good. I mean, I generally like Urban Decay face products and it has a little brush on the end. Those two-in-one things, I usually don't like them. Do you remember? Do you remember this? I'm holding on to it. I am running out. I have nothing left. It's discontinued and you know how I feel about this. It's a two-in-one. It has, it has the brush on it. I never use the brush and uh, two-in-one is not necessarily for me so I'm excited because if it does perform well I'm hoping I'm hoping it's like this brush because in the pictures I haven't actually seen it in person in the pictures the brush looks like this it looks like dense and chubby like a little kabuki so I'm like oh if there's a kabuki on the lid I mean, it's a concealer that's like 35 bucks, okay? That's foundation price. So anyway, it's 7.30. If I, get, if I get the courage to go and get it, I'll show you. I probably won't. I want to. The other thing that I wanna show you before we get into the candles, and I guess I probably should have included context. If you haven't seen, so the Fuji does a Polaroid that looks like this. This you have to put glue or tape on. These are the ones that come out of the Polaroid. It's like a zinc printer and it's sticker paper. Last weekend's vlog, you will be completely lost in this moment. Go back and watch it and then come back. So in that vlog, I was telling you about how I plan on personalizing my capsule wardrobe handbook with some photographs. And in order to show you the size of the photographs that I was planning on using, I showed you these two things. This is where the context was very important because I didn't realize that I showed you a Polaroid of a naked doll holding a dish sponge. So this is me and Mackie as cartoons. <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> and this is Armando washing my dishes. So during Christmas time, I told you my family was here for about a week. We did a white elephant with the adults and we bought this game to play white elephant. I'll link it down below. I'll throw up a picture if I can. It's like this giant dice. And so it makes it so that white elephant is fair. And we said that white elephant was going to be inexpensive, hilarious, and just kind of erroneous gifts. So it was my mom's idea. She shows up to my house and doesn't have white elephant gifts. And that was the only thing she was responsible for was her four white elephant gifts. So she panics and gets my brother to take her to Walgreens. And one of her white elephant toys or gifts was this. This is a character in the new Black Panther movie, Wakanda Forever, I think it's called. And so I got stuck with this guy and I made the best of it. And it ended up being the most hilarious part of the week while we were here. So basically the inside joke turned into me calling him Armando because look at how delicious he is. I mean, right? Look at that. He's got the little beard happening. He's got the little Goku hair. Look at those abs and little shorty shorts. I don't know. We got to normalize men in shorty shorts. I've been seeing all the kids, like the high school kids, college kids, like short shorts are back in style. Do you guys remember in the 80s, the basketball uniforms, how they were like normal length? I can't stand cargo shorts. I can't stand board short, short length, unless they're actually board shorts with a person that's on a board. <laughs> Am I triggered? I'm from San Diego, is it showing? So unless you're on a board, don't wear board shorts. 
So anyway, they're cool now. So he's wearing cool shorts. And I was teaching all the kids, because I'm cool Aunt Danny, that you need to pick men in this world that are useful. So it doesn't matter if they're beautiful. It doesn't matter if they have a 12 pack. It doesn't matter if they call you mi amor, ven acá. You know, like if they talk to you all sexy, like rico suave, it doesn't matter. What matters is if they love you and respect you and prove themselves useful. So, <laughs> my nephew that's 13 really enjoyed my lesson on relationships and he started to take Polaroids of Armando doing house chores, like on the cutting board, holding a dish sponge because he's washing dishes. <laughs> it became the best inside joke of life. And now my two boys, my niece and nephew, have a lifelong lesson where they pick a partner that is useful to their lives or prove themselves a useful partner to their partner. You see what I mean? These are these are these are life lessons. I I I would love to give them the gift of struggle and I can do that with like school or uh, paying their, their first bills and things like that. But I, I would love to save them the gift of struggle from their first relationships because uh, being divorced is, is not fun. Anyway, so you guys wanna see what's in Marta's package. And I'm sorry for this very long-winded introduction. I'm really not sorry. And I need to stop saying sorry when I don't mean it. That is not fair to me or to you guys. <laughs> Armando, that's not his name. I have no idea what the character's name is. In fact, there is no way you could ever pay me to go see a three hour movie. In fact, we tricked our parents to take us to go watch Titanic when it came out in theaters. We tricked our damn selves because we didn't know it was three hours long and my mom hates to go see movies and then it ended up being not like kid appropriate. It was, it was a disaster. So there's no way that I'm gonna go see another three hour movie ever again in my, I wouldn't even see it at home, honestly. I got stuff to do, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's see. Enjoy some spring fragrances. Oh, you know, Martha, I would appreciate a heads up. Ready for the smell test? That's the professional way to do it. Did I ever tell you her packing peanuts are biodegradable? You just need to put water on them. <laughs> My lips were not wet, despite what I want you to believe. Oh man, you know, I love and I hate when she sends them like this because she sends them like this, then I have to open them to show you. There's an earthquake happening, clearly. Then I have to open them to show you, but then I have to rewrap them if I want to gift them. But you know what it means is I just shouldn't gift them because I already opened them. And the only fair thing to do, hold on. Yeah, okay, I think I, I think I got to the bottom. I think the earthquakes are over, you guys. I'm just gonna open them because that's how I roll. Oh, they have stickers. I can't even fake it if I wanted to. Oh, Sofia, ven, ven, Sofia, ven. Renata, ven. Renata, ven para acá. We promised Evelyn we would say hello to her. Can you say hello to your friend Evelyn? Say hi. Say hello. Say, Miss Evelyn, you requested uh, to see me, so I'm here. And obviously I'm sassy and rude because this is how I am as a person. Can you like do something cute for our friend Evelyn? Like give her a little, a little mwah, mwah, a mwah. No? You're annoyed right now, aren't you? She's like, we're not on schedule. We're off schedule. We need to get back on schedule. Well, go tell your dad. You're over here being all nosy, trying to be in the vlog. Go tell your father. Oh, there it is. You hear it? Here it is. That's the schedule alarm. You guys, when your dogs get old, man. The alarms. All right, so Martucci, so if you're gonna send me any more candles, thank you for sending them cute, but I have a special request. Send them naked, just kidding. <laughs> because I'm gonna open them anyway. Actually, you know what? You know what it is? I just feel guilty that I'm opening them because I fully intend to keep all of them. What is this? Sweet citrus in the salsa jar size? Hi, Marta, you're buff matic over there. Oh, that smells good. Wait, that smells familiar. Have I smelled this before? Does this remind me of something? It definitely does smell like sweet oranges. This would be a really great car scent, like in your car. I like that. Definitely, this is a good one. All right, we're gonna open this one. 
Magnolia Peony, I think. Is my arm long enough? Yeah, Magnolia Peony. Look how cute the bows are. I can never make cute bows like that. Oh, clearly I could take them off real quick. Oh, crap. Look at this. Look at this. Marducci's, you gotta warn a girl. Now I'm gonna look like I was dancing. My goodness. Are these jars square? Oh, Marta, look at how pretty these are. This is a, this would be a great beauty blender holder. You know, I just have them in a jar right now, but like it's clear and look how sturdy, how white. I haven't even smelled it and I'm like, look at the quality of this glass jar. Mmm. <laughs> This definitely smells like magnolia. A hundred percent, like gardenia magnolia, like that kind of fresh fl white floral. Did you see how aggressive my white? White. I like that. But I definitely, <laughs> I'm like, do I like the scent or do I, I like the jar? I like that. That's nice, okay. Beautiful. Now, it, it, if you guys saw what happened, it looks like Times Square, like the ball just dropped, okay? The ball dropped in my lap. You gotta warn a girl that confetti's gonna fall all over the place. All right, this is Love Spell. Oh man, I didn't, I wasn't supposed to open that. I already know what Love Spell smells like and I like it. Oh, you know what? I think it's the, Val the Romance Collection, Valentine's Day Collection. I wonder what she names this collection. So this is Love Spell. If you ever worked at Victoria's Secret, walked past the Victoria's Secret, had a mall, um, I don't know, just existed in the 90s and 2000s. Love Spell is the purple body splash from Victoria's Secret that you can't get away from. And if you live in San Diego, it's uh, the scent that all my Panay sisters smell like. Yep, my Filipina sisters love Love Spell. Man, when we'd have the semi-annual sale, y'all would be waiting outside the door to buy boxes of Love Spell. All right, and this one is strawberry cheesecake. Oh my goodness, I have to show you what the floor looks like right now. The floor, the my tabletop. Strawberry cheesecake. Oh man, which one am I, am I gonna put in the background? Mm, God, now I want cheesecake. Marta, you know, if you're gonna send me strawberry cheesecake, send me cheesecake too. Thank you very much. <laughs> like it is chine con moños. Beggars can't be choosers, you know? That smells really good. It literally smells like strawberry cheesecake, but like real strawberries, not fake strawberries, not fake strawberry flavor, like fresh strawberries. Look at how pretty her new jars are. These are stunning and they are heavy. Holy mackerel. Every time I talk about Marta, I tell you the same thing. They are healthy, clean burning candles. They are hand poured. It's 100% soy wax. She's awesome. She's, she's my friend, what else can I say? And we also have an affiliate code. So if you use the code Danny, you will save some bucks. I will appreciate you. I will love you for doing so. Don't feel obligated to, but if anything's ever on sale and you use my code, it also still works. So it does, it, there's no exclusions, because we're awesome, you know, all of us. We're in this community. I need to, I need to put these down because they're, they're getting really heavy. Armando, make yourself useful, hold my candle, you know? Like, seriously, do something. So I will uh, make sure to, do I need a link or list anything? Maybe? The, oh, the, the shine spray. Did it do anything for you guys? I'm not, still not sure. Don't look at my mustache, I haven't shaved it. Oh yeah, definitely. So anyway, all the stuff that we talked about, I will make sure to... <laughs> I'm just gonna catch you guys later and send me some good juju to see if I can actually go to Ulta right now, but look at this. Times Square. I just, I just, I watched the ball drop. Thank you, Marta. Thank you so much for making my house smell good. <laughs> you guys, it's 8.30. I didn't realize it had such a interesting name. Urban Decay Quickie. It is the up to 24 hour wear multi-use concealer, Begin. It's supposed to have a natural finish. Can you tell? Can you tell anything happening on my face right now besides the hair that's out of control? Just look at me like you love me, but also realistic. Do you notice anything? Hmm, nothing? How about no? So I just did like a really quick, just a really quick application while I was in the store. I did it on this side, not on this side, and I only did it here 
and here. I probably should have done it on the zip, but then that would have been a little gross. You know, like there's, there's still risk there. <laughs> I'm curious to try it. But if I was a jumping to conclusions, assumption bearing woman, I am. I want to say that it's not going to be my favorite. But I'm also very disappointed because they don't uh, make my favorite one anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even want to talk about it because every time I talk about the things that I love, they get discontinued. So, there we go. So, I just put a little bit and it, it was only, it wasn't an actual, I, I wasn't even intending on putting it on my face. But I wanted to taste, taste test it. I licked it. I wanted to try it on because the color that I thought I was was completely sold out. And I was like, oh. I did my little Eeyore sigh and shrug and I turned around and walked away and I was like, okay, Danny, just relax. I lean towards medium when it comes to Urban Decay. Usually I'm a light to light medium in complexion unless I'm tan. And I'm not tan right now. So I just put it on this side and this side and the second color actually was a match, shockingly. I put it on my neck as well, can you tell? So I put it here, here, and here. Nothing on this side. I, I think I like this side better. <laughs> the Quickie, up to long, quick, quick fix, full coverage, retouch, conceal, brighten, and blend. Lightweight formula, blendable and non-greasy. Vitamin E. So I got light, medium, 40 W, br -br 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 that one. That's the one I got. I thought I was the one before it. I guess not. Let me show you the packaging. This is not a review, by the way, because I don't know. I'm gonna just wash my face and go to bed. It's past my bedtime, okay? Wesley's insulin is done and we're going to bed. Look at this. It's so chubby. It reminds me of the Too Faced. Something, something. It's like a big old fatty packaging. And then, look at that. We're so cute. Look at this purple. Look how dense it is. Oh my goodness. How do I wash it though? That's, that probably should have been my first question because it doesn't come off. And the only way it comes off is if you take the wand out. There has to be. Wendy, don't play me like that. Wendy, you think about these things. Wendy, Wendy did not think about these things. But it is the perfect shape. It has like a little bit of a slope, so you can do a little right under the, it's already, it's already creasing up on me and I just did the littlest bit. I'm, I'm really sorry that we're just 20 minutes into this vlog and you've seen my face that close several times already. So yeah, it's the Quickie 24 hour. I'm not a big fan of long wearing products because I feel like they don't perform well on my kind of skin. I have normal complexion, a little oily in the T-zone, but other than that, just average. It's not sensitive, I don't break out much. Except for the one that wants to ruin my life when I vlog. And I have a mustache. And so long wearing doesn't, it doesn't, wear gracefully on me. After a few hours, it looks like I have like pigment on my face, <laughs> patches of pigment. Usually the natural look or the semi dewy, excuse me, ma'am, the dewy finish type, semi dewy, semi dewy, God, I don't know. You see end of the day, the ones that don't give you a matte finish and the ones that aren't long wearing, Skin like finish type products are the ones that work best on my complexion, but we'll see about this one Tomorrow when I actually do my face, I'll try it out and let you guys know what I think It does have the giant doe foot applicator, which is super cute I think Clinique was the first one to come out with the big doe foot. I lost my I thought it was the cutest thing ever and now they're everywhere. I'll let you know what I think about it tomorrow I'm really glad I went it took me like maybe 20 minutes to get there and back. <sighs> and now it's time for bed. So thank you guys for joining me on today's episode of Malarkey and Bull with Danny. You guys, happy Saturday. It's almost three o'clock. 
So, do you remember when I told you yesterday? I was like, I don't remember what our plans are for this weekend. Um, it may have been Parker's nephew's birthday party. So, we went there for a little while and then they were gonna do something else. So, I came home. I may or may not be reaching for a snack at the moment. So, I don't know, just, like, am I, like, do I want some beef jerky? Maybe some Funyuns, I don't know. Hey, you know what? Maybe I'm in the mood for some smart food. So anyway, it's almost three o'clock. I just put a poll on Instagram and I said, hey, I need you guys to chime in. If you're available for a live, like a live stream on Instagram at three o'clock, let me know. So if the poll is more than like 75%, then I'll go live at three. If I do go live at three, I'll save it and try my best to add it to this vlog in case you guys aren't all up on Instagram. The only problem is it doesn't save your comments or your questions. So it kind of looks like I'm just randomly taking questions out of, out of the air. So I'm gonna try my best to kind of call out screen names and stuff like that. So do you remember when I was telling you, oh, we don't have any plans this weekend? Yeah, actually, um, we do. Uh, anyone else uh, a victim of perpetual problems in their life, relationships, or marriage? So we have a really hard time keeping track of everyone's schedule. I, I don't know if it's a blended family thing or like a you have kids thing or a you're just an adult kind of thing, but I have a calendar. The dogs have a calendar. The boys have a calendar. Parker has a calendar. And it's like, look, if it's in the calendar, we know it's happening. If it's not, then it's not. And it was just one of those things where it was like, oh crap. There's a birthday party, okay, cool, got it, understood. Anyway, I just got home. Parker's gonna hang out with his family for a little while and uh, hopefully you guys are around for a live. Otherwise, it's just gonna be you, me, and some snacks. So about two years ago, it seems, it's weird. When you're in January, it's hard to say like years because you don't really know, you can't really quantify it. When you say two years ago, it sounds like a lifetime, right? But I don't remember. A few Nordstrom sales ago, there were some shoes that I really wanted and I just couldn't justify getting them at Nordstrom sale price or regular price. They were probably like 200 bucks from Steve Madden, these boots. And I rationalized my way out of purchasing them just because I don't need shoes. Irma texts me, I think this was last year, and she's like, bro, these boots. And I was like, are you kidding me? Those are the boots that I have had on my wish list forever. And I just couldn't justify the price. So they were on clearance and we bought them together so that we could save on shipping and I got to wear them for the first time today. A, I'm very happy I got them. B, they are insanely comfortable. C, zero regrets. However, D is I've had them for over a year and finally wore them for the first time. I know. This is who I am as a person. These are the infamous boots that I'm talking about. You probably can't get a good view, but oh, there we go. Thank you, sunlight. So these are from Steve Madden. They're suede. They have a little platform in the front. And do you see how the, like, the platform has that little piece of suede in it? But it also has the lug sole, which is kind of cool. You know, they look like they're a lug sole, but they make like clanky sounds when you walk. I wish they had a true lug, you know, like the rubbery sole because I am a very loud stomper, but these came in, I think three different colors and Edom and I were able to snag these at a clearance price. So that's super exciting. Anyway, I just wanted to check in with you guys. So it's not like one of those vlogs where I'm like, hey, happy Friday. Oh, hey, happy Wednesday. Five days have gone by. I, I know that that wasn't five, five days, but you know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna eat some snacks. I'm gonna check out my Instagram and hopefully the next thing that you guys see on this vlog is a lie. Keep in mind, like I said, the questions and the comments and stuff don't get filmed in the footage that you save, which I wish there was a way to turn that off or on or whatever with Instagram so that A, you could get some context, but also so that it wouldn't look like I'm just randomly pulling questions out of thin air. Uh, that makes it a little weird, you know? Like, I like to provide evidence. I'm married to a cop, you know? And he needs evidence for everything. Heck, I could be telling him he hurt my feelings about something and he'll be like, uh, no, I didn't. Do you have proof? <laughs> So I need proof, I need proof 
of these questions. And I just, I don't want a screenshot. It was kind of weird. You know, it was like a little screenshot and the So just keep that in mind. If I'm able to attach the footage, I will. If there is a lie, there's a lot of ifs in this vlog. This is, this is not who I am as a person. The what ifs and the ifs and the ifs. No, like we don't do the what ifs. We don't do the optics. So hopefully there is a lie in a second. If there isn't, the next time you see me, it'll be after I consume these, these snacks. Some things just, just some things remain the same and that's what makes this channel a comfort channel. You know what I'm saying?